In three, two, one. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful, beautiful. Wait, is that my intro? <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel, Plants Locks Books. Before we get started with today's video, you guys already know what I'm gonna say. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and make sure that notification bell is turned on. That way you're notified each and every single time your girl posts a video. Today, 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 we are going to be adding an extension moss pole for my Monstera Silk Tapacana. As you guys can see, she is growing wildly and once we get up here she is starting to fall backwards because she has nowhere else to go so we are going to be adding to this moss pole so that way she doesn't end up snapping off or whatnot just look at her i am so proud of this baby we are going to be using some moss for this i'm going to be throwing in a bit of orchid bark we also are going to be using this netting. I know I said in the other video when I first did the moss pose that I don't like this netting because it's not as sturdy, it's too thin, and I don't. But however, I still have so much more to go, so I'm not gonna buy any more until this is all gone, which will not be anytime soon. So give me a second. Ooh, I just rolled over my leaf. Bang! Can he yell at me? Can he yell at me? Measure this some way, somehow. So, I'm gonna say about here. Oh no, stop, stop, let go, let go, get off, get off. I don't wanna make it extremely tall. I don't think I'm cutting that the right way though, right? Yes or no? I don't know. Bang! I need one more favor! All right, I'm back. I have everything all cut and measured. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill her up with moss. I am gonna have to squeeze this out because I just put the water in it. I didn't do anything, so yeah. And like I said, I'm also going to be adding some orchid bark. I see a lot of channels where they have a lot of their plants on moss poles, and I wanna do that because it looks aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time, I just know how much work that takes, and I'm not ready. <laughs> I'll have the dedication that that would take. Right now, I'm struggling with keeping the little bit of plants that I do have on moss poles dry because they just require so much water. <laughs> on a daily basis. I was thinking about some embarrassing stories I could tell y'all about myself. I don't know, just to get y'all to know me a little bit better and just to make y'all laugh, but I can't think of nothing embarrassing, embarrassing, or maybe I just don't wanna tell y'all. But there is one little short little story that I had that was kind of embarrassing because it happened when I was with my boyfriend. I remember one day a couple years ago, I was going to his house, right, and it was winter time, so it was snow on the ground, it was icy, it was slippery, it was just dangerous outside. And I was walking down the steps, I had a bottle, I think I had some wine or something like that and I was I was kind of hiding, I was trying to be sneaky because I was trying to do stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. But I was trying to be sneaky or whatever and hide the bottle like underneath my arm, like clutch it under my arm. And while I was walking down the steps, y'all, I went to tumbling and I just fell. slipped and slide right down the steps and when I did that the bottle that I had the red was wine I mean the red was wine <laughs> the wine was red right so when the bottle broke and I slipped and I fell because I fell like backwards on my back it, it seemed as if I bust my head open y'all I don't know it was crazy and I think I kind of freaked my boyfriend out for like three to five seconds until he realized like oh that's just a bottle that you had in your hand that you didn't tell me about and that's probably why you failed because you was over there trying to be sneaky. But yeah, that happened to me and it was kind of embarrassing because I like really felt like I bust my butt. I think I felt, I think it was probably like three, four steps maybe it had to go down. I really felt hard and then it was slippery so I just went sliding and I felt real hard. So yeah, my bottle was gone. The night was ruined. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I felt like I just wanted to tell y'all some embarrassing stories, but I really can't think about like nothing embarrassing, embarrassing. Like I ain't never peeled myself in public or nothing like that. <laughs> do that mean I got a boring life or do that mean I'm just a very cautious person? I don't know which one that means. I'm going to see if that is enough moss. 
let's see because i since making these i am learning that i must put a lot of moss in it and actually it may seem like it's a lot but it's really not because once you close it and compress everything then you realize like oh it's really actually not that much i don't want them to be really skinny and flimsy oh y'all know what i forgot you ain't even tell me i ain't put the stick in here oh my gosh all right wait a second i did not put the stick in here for more support Oh man, can I just try to slide it under without having to move everything? And I kind of want to cut some of this because I don't want it to be too tall because I want this plant to be able to go back into its regular space on that shelf in front of the window because it clearly is loving it there because ever since putting it on the moss pole and sitting it in that window, right in front of that window, this plant has just been loving life. I think I'm going to cut some more of this off. Should I cut some more of this off? I should, right? I don't know. I'm going to just do it. Just do it see what i'm saying like this moss has been sitting in water and it's like already drying out that is ridiculous I'm trying to find some nice size pieces now we just need to zip tie this baby clothes oh so y'all know how i've been telling y'all i've been kind of starting to have a thing for wait is that the right plant am i talking about the right plant wait a minute i'm having a moment let me get my thought let me gather my thoughts because i think i'm having a moment I don't think I'm talking about the right plant. Never mind. Excuse that thought. That didn't, that thought was not a correct thought. If y'all hear something, I'm so sorry. I think my turtle's filter is broken. I might need to buy him a new one. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but I can hear it, damn it. So over the weekend, I did get a new plant. It was very random. I was going to Home Depot to see if they had got some sagna moss back in stock, which they didn't. So I just ended up actually ordering the uh, same sagna moss that I had ordered off Amazon. I was in Home Depot. Y'all something inviting me. And I saw an alocasia. I actually don't know what kind of alocasia it is yet. I haven't looked it up or did any type of research. And of course, Home Depot don't know what it's called. And it was only $12. Was it supposed to happen? Very random. I'm trying to expand my plant collection because I would definitely like to start doing plant trays and things of that and giving away plants of my own. The second giveaway I did, I bought a plant off of Etsy directly because I just don't feel like I have enough in my collection to where it's like it will be a, a worthwhile giveaway. Like my very first giveaway was something that I had in my collection which was a micin that I had propagated. I just want to be able to give plants that someone may not already have is what I'm trying to say. By the way I have never made an extension for a moss pole. This is my first time and I didn't look it up. I just figured wouldn't I just zip tie this one to the other one? Like it can't be rocket science right? I don't know. Sometimes I've been thinking I'm smarter than what I actually am and I need to stop doing it. <laughs> this is good enough. We're gonna work with this. This is what we're working with. And I'm sorry if in the beginning it felt a little bit dysfunctional and unorganized because it definitely was. So what I'm gonna do is add this to there, but I'm gonna need to put some more moss here so it's not that, you see that? It's not that empty gap right there. I might need help because I need you to hold this because there's no way I could zip tie it and hold it at the same time. Thanks, honey. Just hold it there. Oh, baby. That's not long enough. Okay, well, let's, let me just get it sturdy enough. Is this gonna work? You might need a long stick. Should I put another stick through there? Put, you need to put, I need a, to put a, stick. a stick through this. Exactly. Like, right? yeah. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Like I said, I didn't research this. I thought it would be common sense, but like I said, sometimes I think I'm smarter than what I am. Oh man, how am I get this off of here? Look. Whoa, babe. Yeah, let's go up the bead. Wait, I gotta get it more up first before I could put it down, right? Mm -mm, you need to come down. You got more up in it than you got down low. And then what do I do? Oh shit. Should I put? Oh, Should let, I like? Let it go to see how it's, what's happening. 
we are working with something. I'm trying to get it to be more secure, I guess. I can't really tell the top from the bottom anymore, which is also kind of throwing me off. I need this to be really secure because I don't want to wake up in the morning and my plant is on the floor. Yeah, I'm just trying to secure it and make sure, it, like I just told them, I don't wake up to it <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Also why it's, not, it's having a hard time staying up is because the top is heavier than the bottom. We're getting there. Look how we, look at it, look at it, look at it. This part into the moss and then we can water her and stuff. Y'all, this is taking way too long. Like, oh my gosh, I've been recording this one scene for 23 minutes. That don't make no sense. It's okay, because a lot of this gonna get cut right on out. If you don't know, now you know. Don't y'all just love how when you watch videos, it makes everything look like one, two, three easy? The great thing about editing. Oh, what I... Is this too tight? Y'all think that's too tight? Um, no, I don't think it's too tight. Y'all think it's too tight? I don't think it's too tight. I think we like her like this. Look at this baby. I'm trying to show y'all. There she is. I just know by like two weeks and two weeks she just gonna be outgrowing this one too but how tall can i freaking make it oh she is gorgeous and then look how long she's growing down here i might have to propagate some of her honestly because she just gonna be too long what else am i supposed to be doing on camera well, one of them actually snapped off so i'm going to just propagate this one and then I'll either just add it back into this pot or I will, or I will start it off as its own plant. <laughs> okay, anyway, so like I was saying, I want to add this pothos cutting into the back of my skin dapsis. I already have a marble queen in there. It's already producing a new leaf, so that is great. The goal is to just get this baby full. And I'm just gonna call this the everything pot. This is gonna be the everything pot. When I have like little random cuttings that I could put in here, I'm going to do so. So yeah, that's what this is. Definitely long enough to be potted up. I'm gonna plop her right here in the back, right beside the other one. And I'm just going to drop her in there. Go in there. This is your new home, okay? I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. And look, she's in there. <laughs> is what she is looking like. This is the everything pot. What's up, babe? Uh, I'm gonna check inside my propagation box and see if any of those other pothos could possibly be potted up in there as well. So give me a second. Woo! I honestly don't think anything is ready yet, but you never freaking know. See, look at this one. I think she can go in. She looks long enough. You can grow some more. You haven't done a lick of nothing yet. Oh look, even this one. See, for some reason, I, the perlite is the king of producing roots the fastest. I think she can go in too. I don't know, like, should I cut this or should I just leave it in like that? I don't know, let me not make a decision right this second. This baby isn't doing anything for me yet. Okay, so I think that's all that is ready. Everything else can stay. This is not even my little arts and crafts desk no more. This is my plants desk because they have taken over. The goal is to fill the back of the plant out. I think I'm gonna add her maybe right here, right there. Hold the root down and stick it in the soil. Bada boom, bada bang. It's looking way fuller now. Like, it's looking a little crazy, don't get me wrong, but it just needs time to grow and get acclimated and do what it's destined to do. I was gonna cut this part off because it looks kind of weird, but just whatever, screw it. We're gonna put it in just like that. Okay, she's not as naked, so yeah. So I did mention that I did get a new plant over the weekend and I wanted to show you guys this is the beautiful baby. Isn't she so cute? And she has a new leaf coming in. This plant was literally, what, $12, right? $12.98, so $13. Look at her. This is some type of allocation. Like I said, I still have to figure out exactly what kind of allocation she is. I love her. So yeah, I have a new baby in my collection. Let's go to the bathroom and get this so to pecan water and see if we need to do anything else before I say 
I have just water, liquid dirt, and some mosquito bits. See, I don't like this. It be so messy. Like, why is doing that? Because I got the damn mosquito bits in here. Monstera Sotopacana to live anymore because this moss pole is too freaking tall. Same problem I had with the Dagon Mikan. It's too tall. I put sticks in there, put multiple sticks in there, and it's just too freaking heavy. This is where it's at for right now. On my counter, is this ideal? No, but we don't really sit right here, so I don't really think it matters anyway. But yeah, this is where this baby will be living at for now, and I would just be giving it extra, extra light because it was sitting directly in front of the window and now that it's not i still want it to be able to get the same amount of light to continue that growth yeah i'm over today's video honestly <laughs> like i'm just over this video it's taking way too long i feel like i'm all over the place it's not organized whatsoever so i am going to drop this cutting in this water and let that do its thing and i'm also going to drop y'all i don't know why i'm just gonna put it in there and see what happens probably nothing but and now we have a little monstera sotopacana water propagation going on i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did let me know by liking leaving a comment down below hitting that subscribe button turn on the notification bell that way you know if i eat you every single time your girl posts a video and of course of course of course Swallow, breathe. <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video.